don't you know that you can die at any second? Don't you know that tomorrow is not promised? Anything can happen to you at any time. I know that you may believe that you are going to live until you are 60 and 70, so on and so on. In truth, you don't know. You really don't know anything. We really don't know anything. We can die at a moment's notice. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7, 13 through 14 verses. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Kevin, what is this saying? Okay. Give me time, please. Okay. Enter ye in at the straight gate. So, what does this mean to enter in at the straight gate? Okay. Your path to God. Your way to God. Your way to heaven. So, what this is saying, hey, while you are on earth, follow God's rules and regulations. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Not the crooked gate, but the straight gate. Okay. For wide is the gate, here we go, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. So, now it is speaking about a wide gate here. So let me highlight this. Let's make it orange I guess no yellow so here it is speaking about the straight gate now it is speaking about the wide gate so the straight gate is the path to heaven so the wide gate would have to be hey hell so wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So what does it mean when it says broad is the way that leadeth to destruction? Let's make this green. This means that, hey, you can pretty much do anything you want and And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So at the straight gate, you have to live a certain way. At the wide gate, you can live any way that you want. This is what it means by broad. Like, you don't have to live a certain type of way. For instance, this doctrine... I know I speak about it so often, <clears throat> once saved, always saved, where you can't lose your salvation, where many people believe that they can do anything they want 
and still gets into heaven. No, you are going through the wide gate where you can do anything you want, <laughs> but you are on your way to hell. So wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So this is saying you can't do anything that you want. You can't do anything that you want. You can't. So that doctrine where you can't lose your salvation, you can do anything that you want, that is a lie. As you can clearly see. And broad is the way, meaning that you can do all you want, which is going to lead to destruction, hell. And many there be which go in it. So this is saying many people are on the pathway to hell. Many people who know God you are going to be surprised how many people that actually believe they can do anything they want and still get into heaven. That is crazy. 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. So you can't do anything that you want. Let me highlight this. Narrow. Let's make this, I don't know. Let's make this, I guess, red, cyan. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way, meaning that you have to live a certain type of way. You can't do anything that you want narrow pathway it is not wide because the wide gate leads you to hell narrow is the way which leadeth unto life so life is what heaven when the bible speaks about life usually it is speaking about serving god going to heaven following god's rules and regulations so it pertains to god when it speaks about death, usually it is speaking about going to hell, not following God's rules and regulations, sin, which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. So from what we have gone through, what can you say? More people are going to hell than heaven. More people are going to hell than heaven. So now that you know this, why continue on in your sinful life knowing that you are on the pathway to hell? Why do you want to go to hell when there are many going? So wouldn't it be smart or wise to change your life. I would think so. More people are going to hell than heaven. Why? Because people believe in lies because they don't want to change their life. They want to be pagan Christians. They want to be heathen Christians. They want to call themselves Christians but in truth, they are heathen. So let me stop here. God bless you.